Chu here. Today we'll be making eggnog mac and cheese. And I know what you're thinking. Yes, I am. So, let's get to it. For those of you that are wondering, what the heck? I was gonna swear. What is eggnog? It sounds so gross, like eggnog. Whoever invented this drink named it eggnog which makes it sound really uh, eggy and it, it probably smells bad or something. But I'm just gonna do a quick taste test. Okay, this is what it looks like. Cheers, let's try it out. Eggnog tastes like melted vanilla ice cream. Oh my God. Yeah, it's like the same texture as a uh, melted ice cream. And you can't really taste the egg. So let's head to the stove. Ooh. As we wait for this pot of water to boil, I would like to make an announcement. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Okay, so next video, I'm thinking about doing a Q&A mukbang. <gasps> Look at choose doing a Q&A, her first Q&A, yes, yes I am. So please, in the comments below, leave all your questions because I know you guys are all so curious about me. Like, I'm so mysterious. And let's head back to the cooking. This is the cheese I pre-shredded. And first things first, we're gonna put some butter. And we're just gonna swirl it around like a washing machine. Look, I'm such a pro, I don't even need to check the recipe. Okay, so we're gonna add some flour. Let's do like this much. <laughs> I don't know how much. Look at me, I'm a chef. This is what the roux looks like. Very rooey. This camera's really crooked, but <laughs> hopefully no one gets dizzy from my video because it's so crooked. It's burnt. <laughs> okay, so I, I guess I have to make a new roux. Oopsies, you should pay attention to your roux or else it'll get angry and burn. We'll be back. Ooh. A few moments later. And now we're gonna add some milk. M-E-L-K. I'm not sure how much to add. Um. We're gonna add our lat de pool. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. Now we're just gonna constantly stir this concoction until it's nice and creamy. Not uh, until thickened, until a cream consistency. That Those are my exact words. I didn't look at the recipe. So I'll be back when it's thick and consistency creamy. So this is the consistency that you want. Might be a little thick and I don't know why it's lumpy. Probably the flour, but that's fine. So now we're gonna add our chez and I have some previously frozen mozzarella cheese. Hopefully it'll work, I'm not sure. We'll see. We're also we're also gonna mix in some old age cheddar cheese. It's probably like a grandpa right now. I don't know how, okay, we're gonna add the whole thing. Okay, if I say so, we do so. <laughs> Ew, it's butter, Ugh. We got a mountain of cheese and we're just gonna keep stirring it in until it's nice and creamy. Looks weird right now, but trust me, it'll be good. So the cheese sauce is nice and creamy now, as you can see, perfect consistency. And we're just gonna add some salt and some peeper. This is what our cheese sauce looks like. Very creamy and ooey gooey. Okay, so got my saucy sauce. And it smells 
exactly like eggnog right now, like a cheesy eggnog. So now we're gonna add our elbows. <laughs> and now we just fold it in. Might have made too much sauce to pasta ratio. Oh no! No, do you see that? No. Now let's head to the assembly line unit thing. So we got our glass thingy and we're just gonna... <laughs> Did I spill it? Oh, doesn't fully <laughs> cover it. And we need to put some panko on top for that nice crunch. Can I salt bay it? I can't salt bay. <laughs> salt bay. All right, so now we're gonna put it in the oven on broil until the top is nice and brown. Ah, it's so hot. Ow. Okay, this looks beautiful. Oh wait, I can't even, ow, okay. <laughs> I love how I knew that it was hot and I still touched it. Dumb idea. I was gonna do it without the thingy, whatever this is called. Let's head to the taste test. Wow. All right, so this is the finished product. And let's begin the taste test. I'm nervous. Wait, I should make a, I'm gonna make a thumbnail, so. Okay, let's try it out. I'm nervous, but look at that. Ooh. Is that hot? I don't know if it's hot. Okay. I'm, I'm scared. Okay. Okay, a tiny bite. Let's do a tiny bite first. Cheers. That's actually really good. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, I'll take a bigger bite now. <laughs> okay, not that big. Mmm. Eh. Mmm. Eggnog mac and cheese is actually good. I didn't think it would taste good. Good thing I added half, I, th I think I added about like half milk or like one cup of milk and one and a half cups of eggnog. So it's not like fully eggnog, which is good because if it's fully eggnog, it might taste bad. It has the cinnamon flavor and a bit sweet. You know me, you know I like my sweet and salty combos. So if you're not a sweet and salty person, you probably won't like this. Yeah, this isn't bad at all. Mm. Mm. You guys should try it out for Christmas dinner but I suggest not telling anyone that it has eggnog in it and seeing if anyone can guess what that distinct flavor is. So this gets Look At You stamp of approval. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post once a week and please leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.